we are going to learn something about the connection pooling in Postgre and uh, we are going to see how it is going to be happen in Postgre using pg underscore bouncer so everything I have uh, mentioned there on this notepad and we are going to go through this and finally there will be a small demo most of the part has already been performed but we will see how it has been uh, taken care of so the, uh, the the topic which we are going to discuss over here is connection pooling in PostgreSQL and uh, and how it is going to happen in Postgre using PG underscore bouncer. So if we talk about the general overview, what is a connection pooling means? So connection pooling means that the connections which are already available, they can be uh, reused uh, other than uh, instead of uh, just creating another connection for, for uh, creating a connection to the database. If you are able to reuse the connection, then a memory cache of the database connection uh, can be reused and this is called as connection pool and it is maintained by a connection pooling module on top of the standard uh, uh, driver product. If you talk about JDBC or something like that. But here in this case, we are just talking about uh, Postgre uh, connection pooling. So connection pooling means nothing. It is just reusing the connection which is available and it, it helps in saving the memory in, in general overview. But when we are talking about the Postgre, so whenever you try to connect or you make a connection with the database, there is a backend process which is created so it means if there are uh, a number of connections which are established uh, with the database then in that case every time you are going to create a new backend so the the amount of the the memory or the uh, the resources which are consumed the, this will keep on increasing because you are not going to reuse the connection every time a new uh, connection is established it is going to create a new backend process so what we are going to discuss here is uh, the connection pooling. So if there is a connection pooling, then what it is going to do is it is going to alleviate the connection management overhead. So instead of creating a new uh, connection, it is going to create, uh, reuse the same connection which has already been, uh, been established and it is going to remove some kind of overhead which is created when you uh, create a new connection with the database. So in the same context, we will be discussing something what is PG Bouncer. So when you use the PG Bouncer, so you can uh, download the binaries of this. So using the YUM and uh, PG Bouncer is used as a connection pool mechanism for PostgreSQL. So we talked about connection pooling and when we have to use it in Postgre uh, connection pooling, you can use the PG Bouncer. So PG Bouncer, it is an uh, open source, light bait and uh, single binary connection pooler for Postgre uh, SQL. And it can pool the connections to one or more database, maybe on same or different server through the TCP IP and maybe through the Unix uh, uh, domain uh, if you are on the same server. So uh, PG Bouncer just maintains the pool of the connection for, for each database using a, a database user and a database. So it works in this pair. So there will be a database pair, database user and a database. So how does a PG Bouncer work? So PG Bouncer supports all the authentication mechanism that the PostgreSQL server supports. So as of now, we are not going to to use the best way which is MD5 but uh, we will go with the basic authentication mechanism wherein we don't have to enter the password but in production environment you have to make sure that uh, you use the MD5 function though, uh, so that the password will be strictly adhered in, in hash format. Okay this is how the PG bouncer is going to work and it is all about the uh, the cached connection which is found and it is if it returns the connection to the client so the next question is when should i use the pg bouncer so you can use the pg bouncer when you have to reduce the consumption of the resources on your postgresql use uh, by using the uh, pg 
connection pooling which is uh, postgre database connection pooling so if you have a lot of client connections which are coming to the postgre database then pg bouncer can reduce the number of postgre sql backend process so the response time between the database and client is also going to dis, uh, decrease because it is not going to create a new backend process so I, I have tested it, it on uh, Postgre 13, uh, which is running on Linux server. So this is my Linux environment. And uh, I have a Postgre server already running on it. So if you simply say sudo system CTL status Postgre as uh, 13. So, okay, let me exit and then say, so Postgre 13 is running over here and uh, how do we install it so you just have to say sudo yum install and pg bouncer so once you do it it is going to uh, download uh, uh, the required packages and uh, relevant packages which are required to keep it uh, working so those uh, packages will be uh, installed so uh, once this is done what you have to do is uh, you have to launch your uh, psql so in, in my case, so I'll just switch to sudo su. So you simply say psql and uh, what I'm going to do is I have to uh, create a database so which is already created create user admin password I have given password very basic not uh, adhering to the password policy but uh, just for this demo we have created a user admin which is already there so it is going to give you the error message it already exists and then you have to create a database uh, with the name uh, demo DB which I have created for this uh, PG bouncer uh, demo purpose only the database also exists so if you say slash L you will see that uh, demo DB database exists and if you see the users also uh, you have a user which is called as admin it also exists so how clients would connect to the uh, Postgre using the PG Bouncer? So client will connect to the database demo DB with the username admin and its 